Hello everyone, I'm Drumat, a Tilia OTP that hovers around Master and Grandmaster Elo and Rob Nordic and East. This video will represent my thoughts based on current discussion on Reddit and the current state of Tilia. As a side note, besides bug fixes, she has not been changed since patch 8.23. Tulia was released more than 4 years ago and that's the moment I decided to make this channel a Tulia OTP one, mostly. 4 years ago she was sort of a battle mage that punished dashes with a locked in W, vision on her ultimate and extra movement speed on her worked ground. Since then, more than half of her identity or features have been removed because she was deemed either too strong or, or too annoying at certain points. After these changes, her player base for mid is almost non-existent, her stats not even appearing on data trading sites such as OPGG and her jungle and boat presence is believe, is what I believe at an all-time low as well. This reddit post proves it, right from riot, no breadth and no depth. Another interesting insight from reddit is that as Karner is limited to his orbs, she is limited to her work ground in some context and that may be a factor, clunkiness may be another factor in which she that because of which she has a low play rate she was a fun champion but because of her kit being removed piece by piece she became a champion with a low play rate even amongst otps myself excluded probably she transitioned from mid lane to jungle to bottom and perhaps nowadays to all three but she excels in none without a cc champion to help her with her w or being a glp bot Let's look, however, a bit more in depth at what she is right now. Overall, she is a WEQ combo instant burst champion if you are ahead and if you hit your combo. She can be used with her ultimate to block objectives, but nowadays that does not happen that often. Generally, if you are behind on Talia compared to other champions, it is extremely hard to get back into the game because your main combo will no longer one-shot someone and your CC spell is practically useless without the follow-up burst. If your team does not have a stun, snare, knock-up, hard CC, Talia becomes way weaker, so you have to pick her in team comps that can set you up or you have to be a god at hitting the W or you have to practice W a lot much much more than on other champions because the way it is used and because the way of how she is. On mid, against most assassins and battle mages, if you don't itemize properly, so are more magic resist boots or defensive items, you will most likely die once they hit level 6 and your job mostly is now to seek 2 versus 2 fights to invade the enemy jungler or to use your passive to do roams, the good old shove and roam technique. Most mid laners should theoretically beat you if you apply the same skill level. We don't have work ground speed or AoE Q so we can no longer properly trade and we rely on finding picks in other places. If the enemy mid laner is smart enough to stick behind the CS line, uh, you will hit your full combo but you will not get the kill because most of your Q will be absorbed by the minions so you have to actively bait them out of the wave or bait and engage. On jungle, your only decent matchups are perhaps some tank champions and Nidalee or Fiddlesticks. Most tank junglers have better gank potential and some of them have even more damage. You are a weaker Kartus in global presence, a weaker Nidalee in speed mobility, a weaker Evelyn in burst and a weaker Fiddlesticks in AoE damage and CC. Perhaps what you can do best out of those is to engage faster than them with an ultimate on a bot lane gank. Talia's first clear is also abysmal and if anyone invades her in lower elos most likely she will struggle because teams rarely follow. In higher elos if the invader is smart enough he will get the kill and get out before the reaction of his team will happen or the enemy will react faster than your team because they, they know that your, the jungle is about to invade. Once you get the AP jungle item however you are fine and it's pretty cool to actually uh, play after that but before that it is complete hell some teams even ask him why you don't solo drake with when your mana in the first levels gets out of three or four cues also i hate it that it's a constant game of being behind in cs and then catching up the enemy's cs after and passing him after you get the ap jungle item but in the mid game you have to make up for the lost games that you couldn't necessarily do early on because you were either out of mana low hp or you were invaded so 
On bot lane, you depend a lot on your support to be Nautilus or Leona or some other champions that have CC. So some other champions, tank champions generally work, but God help you if you get an Enhancer or an AP Mage, because you suffer greatly for any magic resist stacking. On bot lane, the one shot mage and nothing else is what's happening. If your tank support gets the engage and you follow up with WE combo, then you win, else you don't. It's one or zero, that's everything that is, and there is barely any counterplay to that, to be honest. Now, you might ask how we can fix her. Well, let's turn again to Reddit, and I will... Uh, I will be thankful to all the people, I, I'm thanking to all the people that actually commented there and all the great ideas that were presented and I picked some of those. Over the years there were hundreds of posts complaining the same stuff and even today's there's a post on the front page right now asking for what everyone else is asking for Tulia. Here are some general ideas that could be tried. One, AoE on Q to be back but not the full damage, lower damage on secondary targets. 2. Work ground movement speed. I don't see why that would be too much for her. 3. Zone status for her. Zone mage, mage zone status. Basically, you become a zone mage again with your E, dealing damage to dashes but not necessarily to her W. So, this way you don't enhance the W Q combo burst, but you enhance when people dash towards you. So, you have that, you know, that uh, other stuff that could keep you alive. Because if you miss W on Tulia, you are dead against any bruiser, against anything. You don't have that luxury of a Twisted Fate stun or a real Assault stun, which basically they are your counterparts. They do the same as you. So why would I not, why would I pick Tulia if I could pick Twisted Fate while he does everything better right now on mid lane? right so make her e stronger early to mid game because in the late game it is quite stronger against dashes so i'm not saying buff the w equal combo i'm saying buff only other dashes than the one generated by your w right early on not even to the late game where i know it's strong you can there, there could be a plus five damage somewhere come on so that's the fourth that's the third thing the fourth thing vision on her ultimate may be just on the first cast and then disappear instantly i know i know in the past maybe it was too much to have the vision always but you can just put it there and it disappears and also five cast times maybe remove the cast time on w i'm not saying to apply all of these changes at once i'm saying just that the community probably wants at least one of those or something that is close to that i don't think even a rework on her ultimate will happen but i'm not sure so i don't i don't think she will be completely changed on some spells. I think she, her numbers will be just tuned up. Especially since we have a new skin and probably that would make a lot of sense even financially from Riot as they gain more money on skins. And if her play rates increases, then obviously the Tilia mains will be happy. Then there are more skins and everyone is happy, right? Obviously, these are a lot of ideas that could be tried. And probably the community doesn't want them implemented right now. I think all we care is seeing some changes on the PBE. And... We don't probably even ask for her to be as strong as she was in jungle. And I think most of us want to push her away from the 100 to 0 burst mage if you hit your combo or nothing else. I hope this sums up all the ideas that were discussed. And I hope together we can change this into something that is both fun and fair to play with and against in breadth and depth. I'm Jumat and I really hope you enjoyed this and I really want to hear your thoughts on this. Thank you and goodbye.